Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Lawful earnings. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, You who believe, eat the good things we have provided for you. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Our religion appreciates work and views it as a great and honorable concept, concerning it as a means of advancement and progress. When reviewing the Quran, one finds a clear call for actions, persistence, and diligence in seeking one's livelihood. The Almighty Allah said, it is he who has made the earth manageable for you. So travel its regions, eat his provision, and to him you will be resurrected. Allah, glory be to him, also said. Then when the prayer end, disperse in the land and seek out of Allah's bounties. Remember Allah's often so that you may prosper. Iraq ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, after performing the Jum'ah prayer, used to stand at the door of the masjid and say, O oh Allah, O oh Allah, I have answered your call. Perform the prayer you obliged. And I walked in the land as you have commanded. So provide me from your favor, as you are the best provider. Seeking livelihood in Islam is based on lawful earning within the framework of honesty, mutual constant, constant, and avoiding cheating or exploitation of some people's needs. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Everything, everything belonging to a Muslim is inviolable for a Muslim, his honor, his blood, and property. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, I shall, not meet, I shall not meet Allah with the sin that I give to someone, a property of another without his consent, say, may only be done by a mutual consent. Lawful earnings is a reason for blessing and increase of livelihood. As the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, wealth is attractive and sweet. Whoever takes with consent, it will be blessed for him, and whoever takes it with avarice, it will not be blessed for him. He is like one who eats without being satisfied, and the upper hand is better than the lower hand. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, both parties in a business transaction have a right to you, as long as they have not separated. If they tell the truth and make everything clear to each other, the seller and the bearer speak the truth, the seller with regard to what's purchased, and the payer with regard to the money, they will be blessed in their transaction. But if they conceal anything and lie, the blessing of their transaction will be eliminated. In another hadith, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the best earnings is a man's work with his hand and every transaction which is free from cheating or deception. When a person realizes the blessing of the lawful earnings, he will never think about unlawful earnings, even if it's of a large amount, because lawful earnings bring blessings of one's soul, wealth and children. It brings about assurance of one's mind and produces inner peace. To show the nobility of a lawful earning, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The truthful and honest merchant will be with the Prophet, the bright and the martyrs. A truthful and honest merchant reaches his status, reaches this status because it is the nature of a human that they love wealth which is one of the bludgers of life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wealth and children are the attractions of this worldly life. One who challenges the love of the wealth 
control his own soul and resist his lust and the attraction of this world of life, prefer lawful earnings to unlawful one, and prefer the hereafter over the worldly life, deserves to be with the prophets, the upright, and martyrs, who are the best companions. The Almighty Allah said, but whoever desires the hereafter and strives for it, he should, as a true believer, his striving will be thanked. In addition, lawful earning is one of the reasons that makes one supplication accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said to Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas, O Sa'd, make your earning lawful, and thus your supplication will be accepted by the one in whose hand is my soul. When a slave of Allah put an unlawful morsel in his stomach, his good deeds would not be accepted for 40 days. Anyone whose body is nourished in unlawful earnings, hellfire will be his fitting abode. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. Unlawful earnings has a dangerous consequences and serious effects. It wastes people energies and competence and disturbs the interest of the country and nations. The Almighty Allah said, you who believe don't wrongfully consume each other's wealth by trade, by mutual constant. Consent. Do not kill each other for Allah is merciful to you. The Prophet has said, There is no flesh that is nourished, nourished by the unlawful except that is the fire is more appropriate for it. Therefore, we are in dire need to seek lawful earnings in order to obey Allah, the Lord of all worlds. Protect our honor and faith and to preserve the grace of our nation. May Allah guide us to do good deeds, and may Allah save Egypt and all countries of the world. Thank you.